Now, what if whatever you want to differentiate is slightly more complex? Take a look at this particular equation here. We have this. Uh, it's not as easy as what we saw in the previous examples. For example, this one here, there's a bracket and outside there, there's a power. And I want to differentiate this. Hmm, not quite so straightforward, isn't it? I cannot just differentiate this and I differentiate this. I can't do that because there's the power outside here stopping me. So, what do I do from here? Well, there is the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way is to expand the brackets. For example, get the... Um, Expand into something plus something plus something. It's, it's quite difficult to do because this is to the power of 3. Okay, If you assess to the power of 2, maybe that's still okay, but something with the power of 3 here, quite a pain. There's actually no need to open up the entire bracket. There is something known as the chain rule. The chain rule is actually not complicated at all, but a lot of students kind of fear it. So let me put it this way. Let's say you have a box. Within that box, you have another box. Maybe within this blue box, I have another box, green box. So I got a, I got a red box, and then inside the red box, I have a blue box. Inside that blue box, I got a green box. Okay. Now let's say I want to get to the green box. What do you think you have to do? You gotta first open up the red box, then you open up the blue box before you finally get to the green box. Make sense? So the chain rule is something like that. You gotta start from the outside and then work your way in. So what is the chain rule? If I differentiate y with respect to x, now remember that y is this whole equation here, okay? This is y. I want to differentiate this. What I gotta do is I gotta first differentiate the outside. Now I'm just gonna ignore whatever is inside the bracket for now, okay? You can see that there's a 3 here. Now imagine the whole bracket here, I'm just gonna blank it out, it doesn't matter. 3. What we did just now was we bring the power in front, so same thing. We bring 3 down in front, we write exactly the same thing, we reduce the power by 1. I'm just going to fill in whatever is the same thing inside here, okay? So, nothing new here yet. We just brought the power down. We wrote exactly the same thing. Reduce the power by 1, okay? And then now what you're going to do is you have to differentiate what's inside here now. So, differentiate x squared, I get 2x. Differentiate plus 1, I get 0. Okay? And then I can open up the brackets. I get 6x. This is 3 times 2x. I get 6x. And then this x squared plus 1 and the power 2. I can't do anything to this. And I can't uh, open up the brackets any further because of the power 2. Well, I, actually, I can, but I'm not going to because there's no need to open up further. Now, I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use different colors to represent which are the actual boxes, okay? So the first box that I drew over here is the red box. The one on the very outside here is 3. This is the box that we handle first, okay? And then it's x squared plus 1. Okay, and then just write x squared plus 1 in the different color. I'm going to use blue. This represents the blue color box that's within the red box. Now, we have already opened the red box, or sort of opened in inverted, inverted commas, because I've differentiated it. So now that I've differentiated the red box, I need to differentiate the blue box. So when I differentiate the blue box, I get 2x. Now, sometimes in certain questions, i got to go even deeper. There might be another box within this blue one. Okay, We will go more into that as the questions get more complicated. And then as we evaluate this, same thing. 3 times 2x, 6x. And then I get x squared plus 1 to the power 2. Okay, this is your answer. Let's take a look at this other example here. This one's slightly more complex. I know that I am unable to start the question until I see... Uh, this function here with x at the top usually makes it better. So, 5, this is square root. Anything with a square root is to the power 2. For, for example, 3x squared minus 2. If there's a square root, I'll put half, right? But it's at the bottom of the denominator, so it's minus half. So, I'm going to rewrite this as 3x squared minus 2 to the power minus half. Once again, if you find that um, this, particular, this particular switch here into the power minus half is confusing for you, please go back and revise your algebra. So, which is the biggest box on the outside here then? The very first one that we should do, okay, let's write down first dy, dx, we are differentiating y with respect to x. The first one that we do is the big box here. Now, 5 has nothing to do with anything, I'm just going to leave the 5, it doesn't touch it. Now, differentiate this now. I'm going to bring the minus half in front. 
I'm going to write exactly the same thing, 3x squared minus 2, okay, no change. And I'm going to reduce this power by 1. Minus half, minus 1 becomes minus 1.5 or 3 over 2. So that's the red color box expanded. And then let me just rewrite this one. We are going to do, we're going to differentiate what's inside the box now in blue. So when I differentiate 3x squared, I get 6x. How did I get 6x? I don't touch the 3. I bring the 2 down, I get 6x, and then the x reduce the power by 1, you know, x to the power 1. When I differentiate minus 2, nothing, it just becomes 0. Okay? And then from here, I open up my brackets. For those without the power, I can open the brackets, okay? So 5 times minus half, I get minus 5 over 2. And then there's still the 6x here. And then this 3x squared minus 2 the power minus 3 over 2, I really cannot expand it anymore. I'm just going to leave it as it is because the power here is very, very complex. Further simplify this, the 2 and the 6 can cancel to leave me a 3, so it's minus 15x. Now notice that this one here has a negative power, which means that it goes at the bottom of my equation. Okay, so I get this 3x squared minus 2 to the power 3 over 2. And that is your answer for this particular question. And I hope that through this example, you can see how chain rule works, starting from the most outside box, which is the red one here. This is the red box. After you're done with that, you go into the blue box on the inside and so on and so on.